Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 12, and today's a complete departure from our usual machining videos. I edit these videos together on a 2009 iMac. It's quite old now, and it's developed quite an interesting fault, and there's a bizarre solution which I thought my technically minded subscribers would appreciate. So we'll take a look at that, but stick around because there's a couple of exciting announcements towards the end of this video. Apparently, these pink lines are because there's a solder bridge broken on the graphics processing unit. Now one solution is to pay £200 second hand or £600 new for a new card or apparently you can take it out and bake it in the oven at 200 degrees for 8 minutes and it rebridges the solder. So unbelievably I'm going to take apart my iMac and bake it in the oven. So there's plenty of videos on YouTube about how you can get the, uh, the screen off. So basically some magnetic clips for the front bezel and three plugs on the back and this uh, is the innards so we can already say I've had it apart once before to put in a solid state drive what we're going to have to do now is take off the cooling system um, and there's some kind of heat exchanger and I think it's a water based system um, take the motherboard off and then this is the offending article here this is the graphics card so all this needs to come off take the graphics card out and then bake it in the oven to try and sort that solid joint out so it turns out we don't actually need to remove the motherboard screws. I'd started taking some of them out here, but actually all we need to do is take out the screws that affix this, uh, this brace and then a single screw on the right hand side of the cooling system. And the entire unit with a little bit of force can pull up and it unplugs the graphic card directly. The only thing you've got to worry about is on the rear side we've got a temperature sensor which plugs into the back of the motherboard. So this is the hole where the graphics card used to be. Here it is, this is the GPU. Uh, we're going to heat it up 200 degrees to reflow the solder and then reapply some thermal paste. 200 degree oven. This is the best part of 300 quid's worth of graphics card which I'm about to put in the oven on little pieces of foil. If this works, I'll be amazed. This is a graphics card at 200 degrees. While it cool down, we'll stick it back in. I'm going to reapply some thermal paste now. So the graphics card's in, Wi Fi cable's back, put the thermal paste on, all the screws are in. Now we've got three plugs uh, power supply, LCD temperature here, and the actual video signal cable. So we'll put that in and then start it up and if this works well I'll be surprised all assembled moment of truth oh oh just a white screen and an Apple logo it's fixed it worked it actually worked unbelievable there we have it a working Mac Thanks to an oven. So there we have it, it's actually worked. Um, so I can now finish it, uh, editing this week's 5 Minute Friday video. Unbelievable, I still can't believe it's worked. So there we have it, a bizarre solution to an even stranger problem. I definitely wouldn't recommend that, however, for all your electronic fixes. So onto our exciting news. We've got a couple of playlists that we're gonna release. The first is an introduction to turning where you can take a piece of scrap and through our videos and downloadable PDF drawings, learn pretty much everything you need to know about the basics of center lathe turning. The second is a project that I've been working on since about 2008, 2009, and it's the open source radio controlled car project whereby you can download our plans and drawings and learn how to use CAD, CAM, turning, milling, bench fitting, 3D printing and laser cutting to make your own 1 12th scale radio controlled car. So next week we're going to unveil the website, show you how to get started, but for now we'll leave you with a couple of teaser shots of the car in action and we'll see you next week. If you like these videos, remember to subscribe and like.